the Nephilim, despots who perished. An Interpretation of Genesis 6, verses 1 through 4 When mankind began to multiply upon the surface of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were useful. So they took captive as many women as they chose. Then Yahweh said, My spirit shall not abide in mankind forever, for he is flesh, his time shall be one hundred twenty years. The fallen ones were on the earth in those days, and also after the sons of God came to the daughters of men who bore children for them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. When mankind began to multiply upon the surface of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were useful. Sons of God is an ancient Hebrew expression for the angel spirits that rule over the creation. When Satan rebelled against Yahweh, many of the angels followed Satan and have become the demons who empower wicked men. So they took captive as many women as they chose. Ever since the day when Satan was able to deceive the first woman, and through her to lead the first man to disobey Yahweh, demons have been able to take humans captive to do their evil will. Thus, the evil sons of God found women a useful means of deceiving and ruling over the human race. Then Yahweh said, My spirit shall not abide in mankind forever, for he is flesh, his time shall be one hundred twenty years. On the sixth day of the creation week, Yahweh fashioned the first human flesh from the ground and breathed into him the spirit of life. God now revealed that he would not leave humans alive forever, but would withdraw from them his spirit of life. 120 years later, in the worldwide flood. The fallen ones were on the earth in those days, and also after the sons of God came to the daughters of men who bore children for them. The fallen ones, called Nephilim in Hebrew, were demon-possessed humans born to women who dedicated them to demons. The Nephilim were neither born half-demon, half-human, nor did they come to Earth as aliens from another planet. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. Many Nephilim became famous despots, empowered by demons, who ruled by violence over the world before the flood. All the Nephilim perished in the worldwide flood, and none of them survived. Thus, there are no Nephilim in the world today. Two Warnings the nations are still ruled by fallen angels, demons who seek to deceive humans through wealth, war and false religion. Some women today have dedicated their children to an evil demon. Some of those children become rulers who destroy human freedom through deceit, tyranny and military might.